Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Georgie Porgies puddings. These are handmade in Devon, and they were mailed to us from Stacy Ann. This is the Lemon and Pims pudding, and this one is the West Country Cider and Apple Pudding. So what you want to do is you take the outer wrapping off, which I'm going to do. They have it sealed really well with a rubber band. Take this off. And then you want to pierce it twice with your fork and then you microwave it for one minute. So let's see if this one looks any different. This one has the exact same directions. Comes off really, really easy. So this one has a, a green, so it's easy to remember which is which because the lemon is yellow and the apple is green. So I like how they like color code them. So we're gonna get these in the microwave for one minute and we'll be back. So when you microwave them, the bag puffs up just a little bit and there's some moisture in there, which is good. So now you just want to remove, um, remove the packaging like this and be very careful because where that steam uh, is trapped in the bag uh, it will burn you because at one minute you wouldn't think it would be that hot. There is like heat coming off of this right now. So I'm going to get a quick picture of these for you all at, at the end of the video and we'll be back. We flipped them back over to take the picture because... Uh, they look better. From the yeah, they look better. They're kind of flattened out at the bottom, which there's nothing wrong with that, but you just want it to look as pretty as can be. Why don't you give us a dollop of this custard while I'm talking about it for a minute. Uh, we used uh, the Bird's Custard. This is a powder, and once you start making it, it's, it's really simple to make. The first time we flubbed up, but then after that, Kevin's been fine. We make it in the microwave, mm -hmm. And if you make it the night before, then it has this really nice uh, pudding consistency. It's it's thicker, and I I, I love. I've, I said this in the video previously about these Georgie Porgies puddings. Um, I love the uh, hot pudding with the cold cold custard. It's just a nice combination. So we have reviewed uh, two of these previously, and Stacy Ann sent us I think everything in their lineup. So we will have. More to review, uh, but it says back in 1994, George Hollywood launched Georgie Porgie's Puddings. Since then, all of our delicious puddings and steam sponges have been made by hand in our Devon kitchens using only the finest local ingredients. So the first one we're gonna try is the West Country Cider and Apple Pudding. It says, um, if you, if you want to know the calories, it's 278 calories. Um, West Country Cider and Apple ingredients include West Country Cider, fresh apples, and brandy. I thought I smelled alcohol when I was cooking. So, how did you tell me to do this yesterday? When we reviewed, you told me to pick up yeah, the. Do you want some? Of the oh first? yeah, you're right. I want to try. But it yes, without. get the custard first. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. I want to try it without custard first. There's plenty of raisins or sultanas or whatever. The main ingredient is it has 26% sultanas, and then. 24% Green Valley Cider. You know what? I really, really like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason I like these more than ones we had in a previous video, I mean, I like those, but I like that even more because it does not have the spice. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I like it better too, because the spice is not there. No, I mean, you uh, you really, they've given the apple the opportunity to stand mm -hmm. out. Yeah, it's really good. Now, honestly, you still taste the sultanas probably more than anything because there's a mm -hmm. lot of them. Mm -hmm. But um, but you do get some of that apple flavor too. That's really good. I love it with the custard. The custard adds a smoothness, a creaminess to it. Yes, you know? and some more sweetness yeah. to it. But that's really good. I like, I like that a lot. Yes, that's a, I love the apple flavor. I don't necessarily get brandy. I don't either, but I smell that. But, I'm it, but, but those apples really stand out. 
So now this one is the Lemon and Pims Pudding. And Pims is a brand of gin-based fruit cup. So it has fresh citrus fruits, sultanas, to bring you a deliciously tasty pudding that can be enjoyed all year round. Every bite is bursting with lemony Pims flavor. So. Wow. For me, it's a little too citrusy, but... By itself, it is. Mm -hmm. Let me see if the custard helps. The custard helps. Custard always makes everything better. Yeah. <laughs> like a cup of tea. That um, It's really good with, with the custard. I don't like it necessarily by itself just because it's too citrusy. It's almost uh, like the peel. It's kind of got a bitterness to it. Honestly, I would not want that. The, the, the custard helps, but I would not. That's not one I would get necessarily, but I know there's lots of people that do like mm -hmm. that, that sharpness of that mm -hmm. lemon, um, of the peel almost, that mm -hmm. bitterness. Um, yes. You might like that, but for me personally, that's just not what I would choose. It's not. It's a good quality. It's just not. Oh, I think the quality is excellent in, in these, but it is a very, it's a very sharp bitter lemon almost is yeah i mean it is the peel you can tell it is lemon peel um and it's just so sharp that i would not want that i'm not used to that sharpness and right. i would not want that all the time um it doesn't taste uh, there's not a sweetness there like with a cake or a, right. or a lemon I frosting or icing or something like that it's just the sharpness yeah. so nothing negative against the the company. Product, oh no, anything. they did a good job. Yeah, it's I, just not something we would personally. Yes, do. but now the apple, I oh, yeah. love. I'd get the apple. The anyway. apple. The apple is absolutely delicious, and you can reheat these without any problem at all. Uh, you just cover them up, and and you can reheat them again if you want. I did not give you the calories for the lemon. The lemon is. 292 calories so it is it's a large dessert and you can easily if you wanted it's something smaller you can easily split this right in half and you eat half and your partner eat the other half these are really nice so stacy and thank you so much for sending us these we really appreciate it there will be more of these reviews to come if you're interested and thanks for watching